Hello designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners and in this video I want to show you how you can add gradient text and gradient button backgrounds or gradient buttons to your WordPress website using Elementor. So you can take a text and a button like this to look like this onto the right. So you can basically add gradient colors to your text or the buttons. So let's go ahead and do it. There are two ways to do this, one by using a free add-on and the second by using simple piece of code. I'm going to show you the free add-on method first and then I'll show you the simple method and you can copy and paste the code which is available to you in the description down below. So you need to search for an add-on called Piotnet and excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, just click on add plugins, search for Piotnet. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So if you want to upload it yourself, so click on this, install and activate that. Once you install and activate the Piotnet plugin, click on plugins, install plugins and head over to its settings. Click on settings. And make sure your gradient text and gradient button are enabled. Of course they're enabled by default, but if they're not for some reason, you can click this and click on save changes. And then open any post page or template by clicking on edit with Elementor. So this is your usual Elementor works workflow screen. So let me add a new section with a single column layout. I'll click on this plus button and you need to drag in this heading widget. And let me make the size. Let me make the size to XXL so that you can clearly see the effect. So this is my heading widget. You can change the text, of course, or you can link it to any dynamic parameter. I'll explain that in future tutorials. And when you head over to style, you see something called gradient text option. This is usually not available since we've installed that add on. It's available. So you can click on enable it. And just like that, you have the first color and the second color. And of course you can change your location based on your wish. You can also change it to radial or gradient and Maybe change the location a bit and tweak all that setting. You can also adjust the angle with which the gradient should be. So just by adjusting few parameters you can achieve gradient text and similarly you can drag any button. So type for a button and under style tab you do find something called gradient button, enable it and of course pick your primary color, secondary color and its location. So this is all great and this is a free add on. If you are willing to do it, the easy way you can do it. But there is even a better way to do it. You can also do this using the free version of Elementor and I will show you how to do that in a bit. First I will show you how to do this with the pro version of Elementor. And the second way is quite easy and quite interesting. So pick your heading widget and you can simply disable this add-on or remove it completely if you're doing it using method 2. Go to advanced under custom CSS you need to type some code. Don't worry the code will be available to you in the description down below. And I've already taught you background gradients in a separate tutorial. So I'll leave a link to that in the card above and also it will be available in the description. Make sure you check that out. There are various things that you can tweak using code so so usually when you type this particular property background gradient is added to the background of the text but not the text itself but you can apply this to the text instead of the background simply by pasting additional code like this so this will basically apply whatever gradient code that you write to the text instead of the background and Elementor also allows you to tweak backgrounds and it allows you to add gradients for few sections and columns but you are basically limited to two colors primary and secondary. But using this code method which is available in the gradient tutorial you can add as many colors as you want. So you can say a, another color so at, it's green if green is not a fit maybe you can add a wheat color. Maybe a pink tinge to that and you can also change the direction at which the gradient should be 
applied so if you say to right to up to bottom to top or to bottom right or you can also specify an angle so let me specify an angle so if i specify an angle gradient will be applied at an angle again all this will be available in the gradient tutorial that i've already taught you so i'm not going to stress much about this so you can add as many colors as you want in fact you can add all the colors in the rainbow so it's basically webgeor so this is the code that you need to copy you can remove this selector but i'll show you why this h2 is important in a bit so this is the code and in order to apply this property to the text you need to type two additional text of course this is available to you in the description so make sure you copy and paste that and tweak these values and if you want to learn background gradients make sure you check the other tutorial now let's apply background gradients to this button so i'll just click on this button i'll go to advanced and under custom css i'll type selector first and i'll paste the code which is responsible for gradients this basically applies gradients to the whole background of the selector so it applies gradient to the whole button not just this particular area so you need to tweak this code a bit and the way you can do it is to apply this code to a particular class of this you don't have to understand it all you need to do is to right click click on inspect if you are in chrome it's inspect and if you are in safari maybe it's view source information and double click this one and copy that now you can close this and instead of selector or let me paste that outside of this selector code you can simply remove everything else and just copy this one don't worry this will be available to you in the description you don't have to type it and just give it a space and paste it so it's basically selector but you're applying it only to the button so whatever code you have for gradient will only be applied to the button but not whole section so you can add your usual gradient styles to it and if you want to learn more about gradient styles make sure you go check the background gradient tutorial so you can add as many gradients as you want not just two colors and this is a bad combination i know so maybe i'll pick no even this is bad let me pick you can also go to gradient.io website and try out some gradient combinations all you need to do is to specify a direction and the color separated by comma and you can edit this remove this completely and make sure every color is separated by comma and the last color won't have any comma and the bracket closes and you can change the direction so you can say to bottom right so you can see how that gradient is applied or you can even specify an angle in positive or you can also add a minus before that so gradient is applied to the button based on what you type and after applying gradient if your button's text is poorly visible you can also change it by simply typing a property called color so i'll just make it black to make it more readable or i can change it to anything so whenever you say color it will be applied to the text inside that element so in this button i'm changing the button's text which is basically the click here one to black that's what this code means you can add any color you can also make it red if you change it to red it will be changed to red so that's how you add gradients to your buttons but wait there's even more using method one you can add only two colors to your heading or button but using this method you can add as many gradients or as many colors as you want to your gradient so you can add red blue wheat pink or whichever combination you want to your gradients so this is the advantage of method 2 but the method one applies only to your heading text or elementor buttons but what if you want to add the same gradient text to your text editor well you can do it using method 2 and using method 1 it's not available because the text color you can't change it using method 1 because that add on only 
changes your heading widget or your button widget but using this method too which is the code method you can apply it but before showing you how to change the text editors color to gradient color I'll show you how to achieve this using the free version of Elementor. Since you don't have access to custom CSS in free version all you can do is of course copy and paste the same code but with some minor modification. The only thing that you need to do with free version is that you need to add an additional widget called HTML widget. Just search for that, click, drag it and leave it anywhere. And you need to add a couple of tags. So there's a style tag. What this effectively means is that I'm trying to style something by providing a code. So this style means, hey, take this code and apply it using the CSS. So this style effectively stands for CSS. As you don't have access to advanced section, all you can do is to copy or copy the same code. But before doing that, you need to do one more thing. You just need to give this heading widget or button widget a name. So you can give any name which is unique. So you can maybe name it gradient toe. Let, let's call this gradient toe. Let's call this heading widget gradient toe. This can be plain English. This can be anything. Let's call it gradient toe. So once you finish naming it, take the code from the description. I'm actually taking it from here. I'll cut it. And there's my HTML widget. I'll click on that. And in between style tags, I'll just paste the code. Nothing happens. Well, that's because Elementor free version doesn't allow you to style selector. Instead, you need to replace selector with dot and the name that you typed for this widget. So we named this gradient toe. So let's copy the name, go back to our HTML widget and let's replace selector with a dot followed by the name that we gave. And just like that, whatever code you type in here will be applied to your widget using the free version. So that's how you do it with the free version. And the same thing applies to button as well. And to style the button using the free version of Elementor, you need to follow the same steps. So you can of course copy the code from the description. So it's normal button now. So go to advanced and give it a unique name. As we called it gradiento, I want to call this one button gradiento. You can give it anything. You can also name it after your dog. It doesn't matter. Whatever you give here, is important. So once you copy the code for the button, go back to your HTML widget where you paste the code for the heading widget. Leave some space after that and paste the code for the button as well. Well, nothing happens again. That's because we need to replace selector with, you guessed it, dot and the name that we just gave. So it's dot and button gradient toe. So just like that, after doing that magic, you get your button gradient as well. So this is how you make CSS work on free version of Elementor as well. So if you don't have the pro version, the only thing that you're missing is basically the custom CSS tab. So you need to add an HTML widget, put a style and closing style tag, give everything a unique class name, and then replace selector with dot and that class name and whatever code you apply to that selector thing will be applied. So everything else is same. You just need to replace selector with that unique class name that you'll give here. So that's how you add gradient color using the free version of Elementor. And if you're still not happy, you can also apply gradient to your rich text editor content. So Let's say you have this particular text and you want to add gradient to this. I'll show using the pro version and you can do it for the pre version, free version yourself. So I'll just click on this thing. I'll type selector and I need to get the class name of this text. Don't worry, I'll leave this in the description. I'm just showing you the way to get it. So inspect, inspect that particular thing. 
double click copy close this thing paste it oops sorry about that paste it and the only thing that you need is the first text so just put a dot there and then just add the text or the code that you pasted for this heading widget so let me click on this heading widget let me get that okay I think the code is here so let me get the code from here let me click on this again go to custom CSS and then I need to paste it and just like that my rich text editors content is basically changed to a gradient text because of the code that is specified here you can also do the same thing with this one this icon box and the code for that is this selector dot elementor hyphen icon hyphen box hyphen description and I didn't do any magic I just clicked on inspect and got the class name from there and again I pasted the same code that we have for the setting widget so even this color is changed to a gradient color so if you clearly understood this you can paste this wherever you want and all that text will be changed to a gradient text so this is a brief overview of so if you're adding CSS to the same element such as rich text editor you don't have to type copy and paste the code for everything you can simply copy just right click and say copy and if there's another similar element such as this rich text editor just right click paste style and the style will automatically be applied similarly if you have applied some CSS to a heading widget click on copy so it will take all the CSS properties of this heading widget and you can paste it to this heading widget so just like that your entire heading is changed to a gradient heading let me paste it paste style so you can see that so you can paste it and change this size based on your preference and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace Thank you.